Kathy Cutler is here with me now from Brookhaven National Lab. Thank you for joining me. I Thank know you. you're giving a number of talks here at the SNMMI annual meeting. A lot of important topics. Can you give us an overview? Yes. So I'm part of Brookhaven National Laboratory, and Brookhaven National Laboratory actually has been responsible with the Department of Energy of actually inventing a number of, of radioisotopes. So for instance, they invented technetium 99M, which is used in 85% of all nuclear medicine imaging. They also invented FDG, which is the number one agent that's used for positron emission tomography. Now what we're interested in, what you've really heard a lot here at this meeting, is that we're interested in doing targeted therapy. And so part of the challenge is that, as we have heard, pa patients have cancer, and each patient's cancer is different. So we need to use these imaging agents to understand that person's cancer so that we can develop treatments that are very selective for that patient and ensure that those treatments are working. So what the Department of Energy is working on now and at Brookhaven National Lab is we're trying to develop the radioisotopes that best match those targeting agents so that we can image those tumors, determine how they're functioning, and then determine the best way to treat that patient. Additionally, we're working on therapeutic isotopes um, that we can use for treating that. And I don't know if you saw the plenary session, but at the plenary session they showed in 2016 there was an article that was published in which they used a vector targeted with actinium-225. And so there were these two patients that were in, uh, involved in a trial. They had undergone a number of treatments for prostate cancer. None of them were successful. And so they, they tried this new agent tagged with actinium-225, and those patients were cured. It's they an were amazing cured. time, and the yes. future is really yes. bright. Specifically now, looking forward to other research, what are you most excited about? I'm most excited about these alpha emitters that we're actually bringing in. So the alpha emitters are really, part of our challenge with cancer has been um, delivering enough dose to the tumor to ablate that tumor and minimizing the toxic side effects that we see. What often happens is that the toxic side effects become so severe that we can't get enough dose to the tumor. These alpha emitters are actually enabling us to deliver enough dose to the tumor without these toxic side effects. And that's what's resulting in our ability to actually cure these cancers. And so this, I mean, this is, this is why we're here to be able to treat these patients and to get them to the point that their quality of life is improved because they're not going to have the toxic side effects um, that they've seen in the past and, and get them to move on with their life and really enjoy um, and, and, and have their, their families you know, not as concerned as they've been in the past in dealing with, um, if you've seen some of the toxic side effects these patients have had to go through in the time, now getting to them to the point that they can have these treatments go in, have the treatment, and then start to feel better and go on with their lives. The, uh, no other field does this. It yeah. is such an amazing time. For yeah. decades we've talked about treatment, but scarcely have we used the word cure yes. like we are now. Yeah. Look ahead even another decade. What do you see? I think that, that what we're going to see is that um, cancer is, is going to be kind of like getting a pimple where you just go, you get your treatment and the patient goes on. And it's, it's just going to be like, oh yeah, I had cancer but I went and did it and we moved on. And I, I think that's what, what nuclear medicine helps with is it enables us to really understand how these things work so that we can actually treat it selectively so these patients can go on with their lives and cancer is not determining their life anymore. I want to point out that a lot of these things have occurred because the Department of Energy has really used these multidisciplinary teams to solve these problems. And really by being able to use science to come up with these practical solutions, this is what's helped nuclear medicine become the routine practice that we see today. Well, thank you so much for your dedication because yeah. that's a huge advancement.